Hey right, guys, for the fun too. Right, as I said in my last video, I am going to be talking about my 2019 fighter kit. I know a lot of people are going to say it's going to be the same, it practically is the same. It's just that I'm trying to cut down on weight. So, yeah, well, give me a second, guys, I've forgotten something. I think I have that. I do apologize for that. Right, as I said, I am talking, I'm going to be talking about my fire kit. I do have my Hunston Bay fire kit. There is no flint in this kit yet because at the end of the day, I haven't found a nice decent piece of flint to put in it. So we'll go for this one first, then we'll go for this one afterwards. As you all know, it's a Hunston Bay. It's got a magnify glass. There's not a lot in here. There's this massive piece of thing. I did have an old style wheel, but it's just broke, so I don't know what happened to it. So, yeah, I might take that out actually. That's seriously just horrible, so I'll take that out now. Don't really need it. I've got my steel. I am thinking about buying a new steel. I don't know what you guys think. If you can highly rec if you can recommend one, please do. I don't carry charcoal cloth in there because I don't like it. I can't get along with it. I do, I can use it, but I do prefer some nice, decent pieces of Amadou. So, this stuff's lovely. I love the smell of Amadou. I'll do a video one day of how I process it, so yeah. As well as a little match. I do carry that in here. There's nothing in this cotton. It's just a cotton thing. I can fluff it up. I can spark it up. Or I can stick, get that lit, put that on there, float it together. So that lights as well as an ember, as well as that one. So it just doubles things up basically. And I made that myself, so yeah. And if you want me to show you how to make one of them, I'll do it now. Let me know in the description. Not in the description, in the comments. So that's just my basic hunts and day kit. I said it is a very basic kit. I am going to get some flint, as I said, but I just have to find a decent piece. So yeah. All right, let's go into the main kit. This is the one I mainly use. This is the one I love. There are some few changes on here. I am going to be changing something out, taking something off in front of you because someone did. Knowing that I don't like it. So, and I know it's my fire kit because there's a fire, a fell rod toggle on the one of the zips, as well as the Punisher, uh, Punisher badge, what I got given to me. So, we'll open it up now. There's my fire kit, as I said, not much changed. I still have the same. Pencil sharpener, I have some fly fire. This is my new tinder this is my new tinder bag. I do have my other tinder bag, but it's gonna be empty because that one there I've decided that I am going to if I'm going to go out and get the tinder, I'm going to find the tinder to use. This bag's then this bag has been opened as you can see with that little seal up at the top there. There. So yeah, in here I have some hammer dough, some birch bark, some flat rock stick, some tinder grip. Um, move on because I can't think what it's called. Magnesium, sorry, that's it, and some fat wood, and some of these wax and wick sticks. I like the wick sticks, they're fantastic. So I have them, and then over this side, I have my striker. I have my fell rod, as I said, there's some and someone's done something. As you can see, someone's put some duct tape on or gorilla tape on my fell rod. I'll leave it on there, I'll see how it goes, if I don't like it, I'll take it off, and I will do that in front of you, and I'll explain why. I have my pocket bellows, as you can see, it's the same one. I have another magnifying glass, as you can see, it's a good one. I have my, I have a frontal lens, I have my charcoal cloth tin. With some cotton. Yep. Some, not cotton. Yeah, some cotton material. Ready to be tried. It sounds like something else is in there, but I'm not going to lick because there should be nothing else in there. So, yeah. I had some char cloth, as you can see. Again, this one's been sealed to keep the moisture out. And I have some Strike Anywhere matches as well as some. No, 
these aren't just spread anywhere much, I was going to say some something like this, but that's in, that's in that bottom pouch of the rucksack. The rucksack's turned around because I had to get the, I'm just going to bail, but I've left it over there. So I was an idiot. At, at the back of the rucksack, at the bottom, there's another pouch, and that's where I keep some stormproof matches. So, yeah. But anyways, that is the fire kit of the 2019 edition to the fire kit. As I said, I do have that other tinder pouch bag still. I do have my tinder pouch, what's on the pouch on my rucksack, where I will put things into when I'm walking along. So, yeah, I'm just trying to cut down on weight. I'm trying to cut down on stuff I don't use and stuff I don't really need. So, tell me what you think. And hopefully, in the next one, we will be talking about my 2019 water purification kit. I will not be taking it off the pouch, off the rucksack because it's going to stay on the rucksack. It's going to stay on the belt kit of the rucksack, but I will show you what's in that kit. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.